Let's bring in Alan. Hello, Alan. How are you? What's going on, Katie? Nice to be with you. You too. Thank you so much for joining us. So you have a great piece called It's Different, They're White. Media ignore conflicts around the world to focus on Ukraine. A Mint Press news analysis found that in a single week, Fox News, The New York Times, The Washington Post, CNN, and MSNBC ran almost 1,300 separate stories on the Ukraine invasion, two stories on the Syria attack, one on Somalia, and none at all on the Saudi led war on Yemen. So can you tell us what made you write this piece in the first place and how you conducted the analysis? Sure. Well, we're living in a very dangerous time right now. There's a lot of nation on nation uh, wars going on. In fact, uh, right now, we can even say there's at least four going on. We could even broaden that to five. What I did was I looked at uh, four of uh, the most prominent ones, which is the Russian invasion of Ukraine, the Saudi attack on Yemen, the U.S. has um, also re-begun its um, bombing uh, strikes on Somalia as well. And there is also the fact that Israel has uh, begun shelling Damascus in Syria again, as well as another uh, another few uh, towns as well. So there's a lot of uh, violence going on right now. But I did notice that uh, media were overwhelmingly uh, focusing on one uh, particular act of violence, which is the Russian invasion of Ukraine. It's one of the bigger ones. You could argue perhaps the Saudi attack on Yemen has actually killed more people in the last couple of weeks and also perhaps was uh, bigger. But um, yeah, it's certainly the Russian invasion of Ukraine should be in the news. But uh, I wasn't, even I wasn't uh, ready for the sort of incredible um, contrast in the coverage between the different events. What I found was there was 1,200 and 98 separate articles in MSNBC, Fox News, CNN, the New York Times, and the Washington Post about the Russian invasion of Ukraine. There were only two about the Israeli attack on Syria. There was only one about the US strike on Somalia, and there was none at all about this uh, increasing Saudi uh, war on Yemen. Now, obviously, I'm not saying that um, Ukraine shouldn't be in the news. It absolutely should be. It's one of the biggest stories going. But the fact that uh, that has dominated the coverage and the other three have gotten virtually none by comparison. In fact, there's 400 times the coverage of Ukraine as there is of Yemen, Somalia and Syria combined. That really tells us something about what's going on in the media, because, of course, with the Ukraine uh, problem, uh, the Ukraine uh, war, uh, the Russians are the bad guys and the, um, the victims in this situation is the Ukrainian people and the Ukrainian government who are pretty much more or less uh, a NATO ally, uh, an ally of the EU, an ally of the US. Whereas the other three, it's actually either the United States itself doing it or it's very close allies in Saudi Arabia and Israel. And so that really dictates why these uh, conflicts are really getting no coverage whatsoever. It's because it's actually the U.S. doing it. And the victims in those cases are all groups that the U.S. considers either terrorists or hostile enemy agents. And so we're not getting invited to uh, bring in hundreds of thousands of Yemeni refugees. We're not hearing denunciations of Israel's attacks on Syria. But we are hearing about how terrible the Russians are and how we need to open our homes to Ukraine. And that's very much what the media are trying to do. Turning on and off the outrage meter is a very important way in which uh, elites manufacture consent for US uh, foreign policy. And I think this is a great example of this. Mm. And here's what it looks like. Here you can see the the this graph. So here's Russia on Ukraine, that, that coverage. Then we have Saudi on Yemen, then US on Somalia, then Israel on Syria. That's what it looks like. And then when you just do it by the number of stories combining the Washington Post, MSNBC, CNN and Fox and the New York Times, here's what it looks like. So that's this is it by publication or outlet or, or source. And this is it just in one thing. Yeah, there's essentially no difference between any of the outlets. So this is a bipartisan consensus that we're going to cover Russia's attacks because they're the bad guys and we can make them seem even more evil. Whereas our allies, we don't really want to bring attention to what they're doing. And we certainly don't want to uh, bring a sort of public outrage over the fact that the US has started bombing Somalia again. And I think that's really the key here is that if if uh, the media covered uh, the war in Yemen or the attacks on Syria in the same way as they cover the uh, Russian invasion of Ukraine, these conflicts would be over tomorrow. 
because the US public and the US government especially could end these with a phone call to those countries. They would just say, we're removing our support and that would just end tomorrow. But unfortunately with uh, the Russian invasion of Ukraine, we don't have that sort of power. Right, so you actually say at the very end of your piece, Americans are united in rejecting Russia's attack on Ukraine. A recent poll found that only 6% of the public consider its invasion justified as opposed to 74% against. This suggests that if the media covered U.S. imperialism in the same way it covers its Russian equivalent, then those wars would end immediately. But they do not, and the Ukraine coverage underlies that this is a choice they're making every day. What I'm certainly not saying is that we shouldn't be covering Ukraine. It's one right. of the big stories. This definitely yeah, deserves all sorts, of, yeah. um, all sorts of attention and condemnation. But the difference with these other ones is that actually the United States government could act to end these tomorrow because this is actually right. the US and its very, very close allies that are actually doing or perpetrating the violence. And that could be stopped immediately, but that would not help US imperial goals. And so that simply doesn't happen.